Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make custom fixture blueprints for automation. So, I have been messing around with this a bit, and it can be really powerful depending on how you use it. So anyway, let's get started. So first of all, you've got to open your automation SDK. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to show how to get this. You can figure it out. It's in the. I'll, I'll link the wiki in the description that will show you how to do it. So, I'm just going to open it. And let it load. Okay, so... Uh, doing some stuff right now. So anyway, let's create a mod right now. So I'm just gonna create a mod and I'm gonna call it test mod for Of course name this like a proper mod name because well, yeah, it's your mod So I would add probably like the initials of your username at the end so it doesn't conflict with any mods So I'll just put ZV here also, ah, You don't you don't really you don't really have to fill this in but I, I, I just do normally um, anyway, so when you're here, hold on, let me get rid of these actually because these don't really matter. Okay, so once you are here, you want to create, go to Camzo and you want to create a fixture preview data file. So here you have a fixture preview uh, file, and when you open it, you have all these values in here. So what we're looking after for, what we're looking at for is this fixture class thing so in here we will so as you see I have a bunch of here but for you you probably will only have six a fixture compound fixture text and fiction a headlight but uh, I have all these other ones because I added them myself so anyway so what you're gonna want to do is gonna right click and you want to create basic asset blueprint class I'm going to select actor. So now you have your blueprint. And this is going to be the name of whatever blueprint. So I could make it like custom fixture blueprint class. I don't know, it's really long. You don't need to make it this long. Just name it whatever you want. So in here, so I see the parent class actor. So right now, as of now, it will not show up here because the parent class is not set to the right one so how we do that is we go in here we set the oh I did not meant to do that okay, okay. so open the blueprint editor and then you get this here so what you want to do you want to click on class settings right here and then you see parent class now what you want to do you want to type in f a fixture so that is the parent class so now you can out of this and now you see an extra item is added here's our custom fixture blueprint class it a uh, uh, underscore C is added at the end I'm not sure why well not all of mine did that but it's normal so you need to worry so just just select it and over here you can do whatever you want so over here you can of course add your conforming meshes and all such it's gonna mesh this show mesh but is this, still, this still acts like a fixture, so you have to place it in order to do something. You can have this up and then... Uh, and that's it. So yeah, you got your owner custom uh, blueprint. And there's a couple of tips that might be useful, is that you can grab stuff like fixture conforming mesh here, from this section here. Uh, you can get non-conforming mesh. Can get I think even the UV stamp mesh. And then you can do stuff like uh well so get weld rotation and then get a return value, do all that stuff. Can you can this is you can use this to make meshes and move. So yeah, let's get a yeah relative rotation. And it's pretty interesting since we can change the rotation of UVs and stuff, so you can make pretty funky things happen. So yeah. Anyway, uh, there is one thing to note: if you import a a model, this here, an actor, this will this will not export to BMNG. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh, and you can also not paint it. So anything you put in here. 
while you could have like more parts and stuff, you, you can't paint them and they won't export to BMG, so that's a bit of a downside. Although if you just want to like make automation only stuff, then this could be pretty cool to make. Although who makes any automation only things anymore? <laughs> Am I right? So of course, if you want to test this um, while you're making it, so you don't have to keep opening it in game, you can just uh, drag and drop it in the scene here and then press play. Then you see uh, your thing works. Look, uh, this example I showed a while ago on a different video. This tool, but that. you can just drag it in here and it works. You can always reposition it if you need it. So yeah, this is how you test it while you're making edits. Just stopping it and uh, starting it again. Makes it pretty convenient. Anyway, I'll show you uh, an example now of what you can do with it. Okay, so let's scale this properly. My, this is a bit unoptimized. It's a bit of a me problem though. And let's have a look. Hold on. Just fix this up. Okay, and you see this arrow thing. Now. With a press of a button, you can do some real cool stuff. Hell yeah. So just imagine all the cool animatics you can make with this. Hey, thanks for watching. I still don't know how I want to do my outros. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will be making quite a big tutorial on like my next video or like the next the video after that one. But I don't know, just just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. It's gonna be really useful for BMG exports.